So as Juliana mentioned, I'm an artist uh, who does mostly photo-based work. Um, and the work I'm going to talk about today is Queer Icons, which is a printmaking, uh, it's a portrait series that I've decided to work on uh, focusing uh, queer, basically celebrating and focusing on the queer trans community of color. Um, and the reason why I started this, pro this project is because I'd gone to art school and I was constantly going to art uh, galleries, museums, and I was never seeing myself represented in any of these spaces, neither mm -hmm. my community or anybody. So I decided that what I wanted to do is insert my narrative or our narrative into that conversation. And so I started uh, thinking about how I can do that. So I've been working in portraiture for a while now. And um, one of the things that I've always been attracted to is religious art. I mean, I was, I was born, I mean, I was raised Catholic, excuse me, raised Catholic. And so religious art has, was my introduction to art first, you know, walking into church and seeing like these amazing murals of saints um, and encased in these beautiful like golden frames. So that's sort of what I was trying to incorporate into my work. And that's what I wanted to, uh, to do here. Um, so one of the ideas was basically, I always think of saints as like, uh, oh, I could use this, right? Uh, I always think of saints as basically humans that go above and beyond their uh, duty as humans and for the betterment of the community, right? So what I wanted to do is create this body of work where that focused specifically, uh, well, it started off first as basically people from my community, my friends and family. I mean, my friends and friends of friends. And then it started getting a little too big, and what I wanted to do was hone in on a specific aspect of the community. And in this case, I decided that I wanted to do uh, focus on activists and community organizers and poets, basically people that are out there uh, making our community visible by their work, whether it's act, uh, doing activism for immigration, trans visibility, or um, sex worker uh, rights, uh, different, or, different uh, themes like that. So this is, this is Mitchell, and he's actually one of the reasons why I decided to focus on that uh, community. Uh, he's an activist who basically sort of like uh, he's an activist for sex workers and he creates uh, like zines and creates uh, information packets to hand out to people that are forced you know to do these this kind of work and um, and knowing his story it would just made sense to me to include him in this uh, in this project uh, so what I started doing more recently also is I started having a dialogue with the, with the person who I'm photographing, right? So usually when you take a portrait, you take that portrait and it's up to the viewer who basically gives meaning to that portrait based on their own experience. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to give that voice back to the person who's actually, whose portrait it is. So what I started doing more recently is having them handwrite their, uh, whatever they wanted to write, if, whether it's like prose, if they're poets, or what it is about their identity that they want to basically want the world to know about them. So this is Bakarin, he's a poet, and a lot of his work is about him being queer, a person of color, and who love sex, you know, who's very uh, sex positive about his work. So <clears throat> that's basically what, uh, what's around his, his image. And so this is, is his handwriting. And what I do is I usually take their portrait, give them a copy of their, the portrait that I took, and they handwrite whatever they want to write around their image. I take that, create a uh, screen in silk screen, the, uh, the text over the print after I've already finished it. 
So what I usually do is I create um, four, four to five variations of every print. Um, so this is Erica. She is an activist in Puerto Rico, actually, who does a lot of uh, healthcare uh, work for the trans community in Puerto Rico. Uh, this is before. This is a portrait that I did before I got the idea to write or have them write their uh, text. But so what I have, what I normally do is this is a printmaking process called photogravure. So it's a metal plate. I have a little video that I could show you at the end. But uh, so because it's that it's a printmaking process, I'm able to duplicate the same image multiple times. And all of the color and patterns you see in the back is decorative paper that I buy and I hand cut to match the, uh, the image. And so this is one of uh, four that I have of her. Um, <clears throat> and this is uh, Jamal, who is a poet. And I never got around to, to getting his text, but this is actually one of the most popular images in the, in the series. It's one of the strongest ones. Um, and that's uh, Sonia, another activist, poet, who does a lot of activism for undocumented queer uh, for the undocumented queer community, actually here in the Bay Area and, and in New York. Um, and that's uh, Jalissa, a poet who's really active in New York City. And that is Carlos and Fernando. Like, they're, I wouldn't say call them activists, but I thought that the fact that they've been together for 10 years and uh, that are Latinos, it's very hard to, for me to, to, um, to find queer couples that have been together that long and like uh, have made it work, whether it's long distance. Um, and they're just, to me, they're my heroes, you know, because that's something that I, I would love to, to uh, find and, and uh, create my own family. So that's uh, probably the only one, actually it is the only one that I have that's a couple. Uh, that's Eric, who is a an activist who is HIV positive, and he goes on. He has like a YouTube video, YouTube channel that where he talks about his status and talks about um, organizations and basically he wants to destigmatize the fact that HIV, you know, being positive is is a stigma right now. So he's him talking about it is one of the reasons why I, I chose him to be part of this project. Uh, and that's uh, Laura Luna, another uh, activist who, uh, she works mostly with like visibility, you know, uh, like body politics and breaking that idea that only you have to be like way fist thin to be, uh, accepted in, in the queer community. So the fact that she ex embraces her, you know, her, uh, her body and loves herself for it and is constantly like taking self portraits, doing selfies and posting them all over social media. It's her way of sort of uh, in inserting herself into that, com into that narrative also. Um. <clears throat> and so I, took these shots so that you could see what they look like uh, framed or uh, so these are actually all like e the image itself is 11 by 14 and the image size is I'm sorry the image size is 8 by 10 and uh, the port the actual print is 11 by 14 so I make all of these uh, frames because again like I said I very attracted to religious art and uh, I want to all the frames that I make I sort of are homage to things that you would see in a church. Um, uh, 
And I also brought some of the original prints so you could see because the, one of the things about this process is that it's I use a lot of metallic paper and, and iridescent paper, so it's a work that you have to really walk around to to see to really appreciate the image. Uh, <clears throat> oh, and here's the the little video of that. So it's a photogravure process. It's a metal plate that has that I burn the image on, and I have to ink it, rub the ink out, and then this is all the color that goes. So a lot of people ask me like, why is it? Why do I? Why don't I just make this into a digital work? You know, why don't I just take a portrait and digitally create this this image? But I really like to work with my hands, and I really like the idea that it's something, it's like a little treasure that, uh, that I took my time to create and to, it's sort of like a jewel, you know, where you want to appreciate it, where if it was something done digitally, I could just easily like knock it out and have like tons, but the fact that it takes me quite a bit of work to create one image, I want to add that to that narrative or to that idea that it's they're precious and they're um, they're worthy uh, for all of the labor that I put into it. Um, I think that's it. I don't know if that's too short or if that's. Uh, <laughs>